Hi there. I'm here in the farmlands near Deventer, my city. And farmers are one of the first entrepreneurs actually in the world. And they've been doing this work for, for, for ages. And they have been become very good at it actually, because they have become more and more efficient so that they, they can feed more and more people. But the downside of it might be, and not for all farmers, but might be that they want to maximize everything. They want to maximize the, 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 the milk their cows produce. They might want to maximize the, the amount of corn that comes from a square, square meter or square acre, if you want. Um, and maximizing, well, it always comes at a cost. So what is the cost of maximizing uh, things in your business? Because there is a parallel with other businesses. So we have learned to maximize profit. That's what, what, what entrepreneurs and, and businessmen want to do. But I don't like maximizing because it's always, there's always a cost. Because by maximizing your profit, you might minimize your health or your happiness or maybe the happiness of your spouse. So I prefer to talk about optimizing. So what would happen if you optimize your profit? Um, and optimizing is always relative, relative to other uh, aspects of your business, like your personal health or maybe the health of or happiness of your employees or your clients, the planet. Um, and there are many other factors that you can take into account. Um, and there's also the factor of time. So you can optimize or maximize something now, but what happens in a year or two years or maybe 50 years or 100 or 1000 years? Um, so it would be interesting if you take three factors in your, your company, three aspects, major things that you think, I want to optimize those. And how are you gonna optimize those for yourself, for your company, but also for the people around you, for your clients and for the planet now and also in the future. I'm curious. Leave your comments below this video.